everybody and welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. So this week I'm going to mostly, since it's 10 days before Christmas, for those who celebrate Christmas, and also Hanukkah is coming up, even a little couple days before that, I'm mostly going to focus on some holiday dolls, but I want to show you one doll up front that's not holiday, and that I recently got, and that's this Jewel, or sorry, not Jewel Secrets, <laughs> Secret Spells Kayla. Now that's a doll that I've kind of always wanted and didn't have. And I found her for a good price somewhere online. Uh, I think it was, I think eBay, I'm not sure at this point. It's been a little while. And I purchased her. Now her box is a little banged up. Uh, not in the best shape, but obviously she's in good shape. So, uh, let's take a look at this doll. She's, of course, got very red hair. And an interesting face. I like the outfit. It's kind of fun. It's green with the gray pants it looks like. There's a picture that shows you a little bit closer uh, without the glare. And she has a box that says mix potions you can really drink. Two packets of magic powder. Okay. It says <laughs> down here artificially flavored orange sherbet powered, powdered drink mix. And peach powder drink mix. Artificially flavored, of course. So, um, I'm not sure what the story is behind these dolls. Here's the other two dolls in the series. Barbie and Christy. So, it does say in several spots, it says, No one suspects that this ordinary schoolgirl is actually one of the secret spell girls. And these are from Box Date 2003, by the way. However, it's got the nutrition facts for those drinks, and it says best before 5, 2005. So, um, but does anyone know what the deal was with these dolls? Was there a show about them or, or something? Because it just seems odd that they would suddenly come up with Barbie and all these dolls doing spells. And it says it's a night of white magic and spells for the Secret Spells Trio. Kayla hides magic supplies in a trick school book. That's this right here. So, I just feel like there's something I'm not aware of that makes this why they did these. I kind of like it, but the doll, I mean, but I think it's a strange um, theme. So, anyone who can shed light on that, please let me know. In the meantime, let's move on to the holiday dolls. Now, what I want to do today is, obviously, you guys are familiar, if you've been watching for a while, with uh, some of the holiday dolls that I have, or I have quite a few, especially the recent ones, and some early on. But I want to kind of compare some of these dolls and also point out some of my favorites. So let's get started. First of all, let's just look at the ones from a couple years ago. Now, I will say that, and I've got two of those, um, the ones from this year, at this point, I don't plan on getting because I'm not a fan and I just don't know that I want them. I mean, when you, when you don't have a lot of room, you do have to make choices. I think that's so important to not just get everything. And I don't like the holiday dolls enough to get them this year. So I'm probably not unless it was to sell them, to try to resell them, but that's not usually very easy. So, these dolls, and let me show you both of them. Um, obviously, the African-American and the Hispanic from this group, which I think this was 2017, if I remember correctly. Um, I like them, but I don't love them. I want to tell you what I like and what I don't like. So, first of all, the dresses. Let's look at those, and I can put one down and just look at this one, because they're the same. And I really wish, in a way, they would do a little variation for each doll, and I think sometimes they do, if I remember correctly, uh, there's slight differences for each doll to go with her hairstyle, for instance. I would like that if they did that more. Um, I like the look of this dress, but I don't like this fabric. It's cheap looking, and it reminds me of, like, some kind of garish costume shop. Not costume shop, but a, like, party city... <laughs> Go back to Barty City dress. Um, it's just very cheap feeling and looking. 
So I don't like that at all. But I do like the style of the dress. Now, as far as the doll herself, obviously these are not very poseable. So that's an issue. But they're good for just displaying and that's what I'm doing with these. So that's fine. Um, the hair quality is pretty good on these. Um, not sure why they did this particular style. I personally think she would have looked better with a bit of an updo or something. I don't know. Let me take the stand off because it just fell off. Okay. And, of course, the earrings are the plastic ones, but at least they're slightly different than what had been done recently. I like the look of her face. But I think in both cases, and especially the African-American, I've seen this one where people repainted the face and it looked much better. But I think this face, I like the, the angles of the face and it's a strong face on both of them, but don't like the paint on this. Don't like the makeup. I mean, it just looks rather garish, I think. Now, I did notice, by the way, that the earrings... Oh, they are the same. I thought they were different for a minute. But they're the same. Uh, I thought they were different colors. Um, the hair, again, I like her hair. Now, I think her hairstyle is just perfect. I think it looks really good on her. And of course, you can, you can still do different things with it. Like put it in a French braid or something. I mean, just any kind of style that you want, obviously. Like a normal doll. Which is one of the things people like about dolls many things. So, um, what do you guys think of this particular uh, year of holiday Barbies? Okay, let's move on. So, now this year, and I don't unfortunately have the year on this one, but I, I don't think it was very long ago. First of all, it could use a hair brushing because the hair is like one big clump. Um, I really like her face. Um, just the look. And personally, now this, I believe, was supposed to be the African-American this year. But it looks to me like it could be Hispanic, too. That stand, I just realized, was on upside down. Okay, it still worked. <laughs> She's up there all that time. Um, yeah, you know, I like this, but the jewelry is a little cheap-looking like those others. And that I don't like, especially when it's that big and gold. I'm not a fan of the fake gold look, which is what that is, in anything. Um, faucets, for that matter. Doorknobs. I took them all off in this house and put on silver ones. Or uh, brushed chrome, or whatever it is. Um, so anyway, this one is really pretty. The dress is better. It's not quite as cheap looking, but still on the verge of cheap. If it's not there. So, I'm just not a real fan of these type of fabrics. I mean, but the look is better. Much better look overall. And I think she's really pretty. Now, she looks quite young. So, I don't know. This one is sort of a medium one for you, for me. And then I want to show you two or three that I really like. My three favorite ones that I have here with me. So, first of all, for the 25th anniversary of the holiday Barbie and these are all in the box so you know I'm absolutely sure of the year so first of all we have 2013's 25th anniversary now this was a Kmart exclusive I don't think Kmart does that anymore because there hardly are any Kmart's and none around here that I'm aware of um, and I you know I do kind of miss that but um, it got to the point where you just never there was never one around anyway so it would just be online I think I got this from online but this was their Holiday Barbie exclusive from 2013, and it's just beautiful. I think uh, so well done. You know, the, just the look of the doll. Um, redhead or our auburn kind of hair color. And of course, you know, as with these typical Barbies lately, Holiday Barbies, I mean, um, box is very plain, you know, not much to write home. The dress is very big and boofy, which, as Raymond Leslie pointed out recently, and thank you for the shout-out, Raymond, I don't tend to be a fan of, and I still am not, but it makes a little more sense here than some dresses, and I like this because it, you know, it's a little bit more upscale looking, and it's different because it's not just red, 
You know, like those are mostly red or red and gold, and I don't like that. I think it's just too much red. It's a, it's a, uh, just like the, the fallback. You know, like let's, oh, can't think of anything else. Let's put red on her, or just red. Now that's one thing I like about the new ones is they're red, and then they have that candy cane stripe. So that I like. But anyway, this one is one of my recent favorites. And if you can see, hopefully you guys can see her face well enough. I'm trying to get a good angle here, that you see how pretty she is. So yeah, that's one of my current favorites. And then, let's see, this one, these are my other two. And this one, I think, yeah, I can take the lid off so we get a really good picture of her. This is Holiday Barbie from 2010, and it is the African-American version. Now, I think this is exquisite. I mean, especially the outfit. When you compare the fabrics on this to the fabrics on those first two, you see exactly what I mean. So, this is the one that I'm talking about. Beautiful box, by the way, especially the background. I mean, you know, it doesn't take that much, I don't think. And I like that you can take the front lid off and display it like this if you want. Or at least just look at it like this. But look at this fabric. I mean, this is quality. I mean, you feel this part over here. I mean, I don't know what fabric this is compared to that, but that's cheap. This is not cheap looking, and I don't think it's cheap. And look at this top. So there, that's the, right there. You've got three different fabrics, at least. Plus this twirl here, or bow, whatever it is. Ribbon. Um, and I like the look of the doll. Again, her face is beautiful. I think much prettier than those first two. And when you look at the makeup on this one, and you compare it to the makeup on this one, I mean, it's just like... I wouldn't have honestly gotten these if I hadn't gotten such a good price, but... I did like them enough to get them, but, you know, they just really need help. And I think those who have redone those have done a really good job, the ones I've seen. So, yeah, here's the back of her box, by the way, and it's just so well done. I mean, I just love this doll. You know, I've got a lot of these in storage, and that's why I've kept some of these here, because I like these so much. So, yeah, there's that one. Back in there, and I'll show you the last one for today. Okay, the last one is from 2012. So we had a 2010, 2013, and 2012 that were in the really good side of ones from recent dolls. Whereas the other two I showed you were medium and not so good. I still don't think those are bad, but the fabric is bad, yes, not the doll. Okay, and the last one today is this 2012 Holiday Barbie. I think this might have also been a Kmart, well, I'm not sure this was a Kmart exclusive, but anyway, exclusive to somebody. I uh, just forgot at this point if it wasn't Kmart who it was. But she's beautiful with the dark hair. Um, the fabric, mm, it's okay, but not as nice as that last one, which is the best one of these. And um, so some, at least it has a splash of glitter, uh, and it's a little bit more of an ornate design on the dress. I also like the back.